welcome back, WW Fly Corbair. Today, I'd like to give you a quick message and a plug and a little bit of an explanation. Uh, one of the most important products, if not the most important thing we developed uh, in 2019, is the mop manual. Now, I've had videos about this before and explained it, but the mop manual should be in possession of every single person planning on building, and certainly every person with a running motor and a flying airplane in the land of Corvairs. Doesn't matter what era for you have, uh, this is a critical, critical document. Flying without this constitutes not doing your due diligence. This is a much more concise manual. It's intended to be in the airplane with you. It's all just the facts. The explanations for the detail on all of these things in terms of uh, why we chose to do this. There's a brief description of why inside, uh, but it's extensively covered in my writings and previous videos. Uh, the manual is just a step-by-step -step how to guide on this. If you don't have this, you don't have the most up-to-date information. Let me give you the most uh, common uh, variant on this. For 30 years, this was our recommended spark plug. This is from an AC44F. This was how the plugs were for a long, long time. This was great. They worked. Uh, I go out in the field, I still see these in people's airplanes. This is the actual plug that we specify. The mop manual tells you which exact plug goes in which Corvair motor. But this plug has been the standard for five years. However, no matter how we told people to use them, I'm still getting about 50% of the airplanes I see in the field are still equipped with this plug right here. This is not the correct plug for the engine. For the last couple of years, the mop manual clearly specifies in simple terms that you must have this to be doing it correctly. First question that comes up with a lot of guys is saying, if it worked before, what's changed? I'll tell you what's changed. These spark plugs provide a much wider range of detonation protection than you could get out of an AC plug. If everything worked perfectly, AC plugs were pretty good and they served us real well. Issue is that uh, changing scenarios, and you should take, check out my video on Stromberg carburetors to learn a little bit more about this, how a product could be perfect for decades and then become not recommended. I'm going to tell you about this where the scenario changes, either something in fuels change, uh, something in replacement parts, or how they are serviced by other companies in the field will put a variable in the system. We had people who were running these plugs uh, and had engines that in lean out conditions would not detonate. If you had a traditional set of AC plugs, they can be aggravated to detonation. This isn't perfect protection, but it is much, much more detonation resistant. We've known this for years, yet people didn't adopt it. One of the reasons why people said was, I just didn't have a manual that explained exactly what I should be doing. You write a lot, there's a lot of information out there. I thought I had a pretty good scenario. This is the solution to that. Now this has been a big seller. There are hundreds of copies that we've uh, uh, put in the hands of people who are using it. But still, we have people who have not got a copy of this yet. If you don't have a copy, you're not doing your due diligence, you're not operating it, and most of all, you're not taking advantage of the information that we provide in a concise package here. You got into this because you wanted to learn and operate the engine professionally. Here's how you do it. Here's the instruction set. So, again, I do have people who say, well, if it worked before, why can't I do it now? I've been a licensed aircraft mechanic for three decades. An easy example is that Cessna 150, uh, if you had a 150 that was produced in 1963 and said, oh, that was a perfect airplane and it was approved by the FAA in 1963, uh, and I should be able to fly it exactly as it was in 1963, well, there have been a lot of ADs released on that airplane. If I did an inspection, on a 1963 uh, Cessna 150, and then the FAA said, why didn't you comply with any of the ADs on the airplane or any of the service bulletins? I'd say, well, you guys told me it was good in 1963, so 
why should I uh, update it at all? It was good then, it's good now. Uh, that type of logic wouldn't get very far with the FAA. I'll assure you they'd pull your mechanics license over it. It would probably make your insurance invalid and a few other things. But just logically, you want to take advantage of the things that have been learned about the machine you're operating. You want to take advantage of that. That's what smart people are going to do. So taking advantage of research and development written into a concise document is about utilizing information that's in the MOP manual. You can see in the description in the text below on how to get a copy of the MOP manual. It's inexpensive for all the trouble it can save you. All right, this is what responsible guys are doing. So when I talk to you this year and you call in and we check in and have uh, conversations about this stuff or I see you out in the field, let's make darn sure uh, basic, that everybody has who's operating an airplane is operating it in accordance with this and has the information at their fingertips. And it'll help my high blood pressure if I see less of these out there this year and more of these. Thanks very much. William Wynn, Fly Corvair, please remember to subscribe and check the description in the text for more information below. Thanks. We'll see you out there.